this one's gonna be on how to be able to connect your Postgres SQL databases on Visual Studio Code, but this will also work for any other kind of database that you have available. So the only thing you need to do is go to extensions. So over here you can search for uh, MySQL or Postgres, you can type both of them, it don't matter. Uh, go ahead and make sure you install the uh, MySQL database tools. And once you install that one, it's gonna also ask you to install the MySQL server. Uh, I think that's what it's called. So just go ahead and click in and install them. And uh, basically, uh, after that, you'll see this uh, little um, uh, icon for the uh, databases. So this will appear. And that's it. Once you've uh, installed that, to be able to create a uh, database, it's extremely simple. All you would do is just click on the, uh, which is connections, click on add new connection. And then this will show up. And then you can choose whether you want to install the Maria database or Postgres or MySQL or whatever. Uh, they got plenty of options in here. So I'm just going to go to show you how to connect to a Postgres since I have one already available. Uh, basically, what you would do is give it a name so it can be called anything. So Postgres DB, something like that. And then uh, as far as that, you can give it the local host. The port should be fine by default. And then the database name that you want to connect to. So in this instance, my school might be my underscore db and then your username so mine should be postgres if you have other usernames you can put that in there and then the password and then after that you would just click on test connection and if it shows this little green button that says connection says test successful then that's all you need and then after that uh, you just click on save connection that's it uh, you'll see a new uh, database pop up over here you can start working on it and you can always go back and edit connection and edit whatever you want and of course you can also start working on it so as you see of course I already have it in there but um, it's the same uh, database but connected to it in two different instances here so that's it. That's how you're able to work with uh, PostgreSQL databases on uh, Visual Studio Code. So that's it for now. Bye.